wrap. Something's in my eye. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the new Vanish foundation. I was gonna say stick because that's their original foundation, but it is not a stick, it is in liquid form. So the Vanish foundation in a liquid form. I am very excited to try this out. What I am gonna do for you guys, because my friend Chantel gave me this idea, she said you should do one side with the Vanish stick and you should do the other side with the new foundation. So I thought that would be interesting to compare the two formulas and compare how they both look and photograph and stuff like that. I thought that would be very interesting. Um, the Vanish Stick Foundation is very, very hydrating and I would say even kind of oily. So if you are oily, stay away from the stick because it would make you look cray cray. The only thing I don't like about that foundation, I love everything else. It photographs beautifully. It looks beautiful. My skin, it matches me perfectly. My skin looks flawless and like butter when I wear it. Everything glides on beautifully. The only thing I don't like about it is that it creases on me, like on my smile lines. It's the only foundation that even if I set this part of my face, it creases on me. The foundation never really fully sets completely, and that's because it is a hydrating foundation. Um, you have to really, really powder it down in order for it to be, like, matte. Um, or not even kind of like a satiny finish. Um, I don't think it'll ever get to, like, a matte finish because it's just so hydrating. It's more for someone who is very, very dry. At the moment, I am combination. I used to be very dry, but, um, I don't know. My skin has changed as we get older, I guess. Skin changes, whatever. Not cute and it's very disrespectful. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. But aside from that, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing one side with the Vanish Stick and then the other side with the new foundation, new formula, everything. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what the foundation packaging and formula looks like right now. That is pretty much the foundation and the packaging. That's what I just got in PR today. So I'm filming this video today for you guys. It's going to be a first impression on the new formula and new packaging and everything. I absolutely love the packaging of this foundation. It looks very sleek. As per usual, Hourglass always does like a very elegant, sleek type of like, you know, packaging. Very expensive because it is expensive AF. So... Just be ready for that price tag because the foundation is expensive, just like the other one. But anything Hourglass is expensive, but I guess you get what you pay for when it comes to Hourglass because the brand is actually really, really good. I really love their Veil Primer. This is one of my favorites. I bring this in my kit. It is very busted because of that reason. I bring it with me in my kit at all times. I love this stuff, especially like when you're doing weddings and stuff like that. Like, this is kind of, like, something that would make the makeup waterproof and kind of, like, sweatproof in some sort of way. So I really, really love this primer because of that. It creates kind of, like, a barrier. So the brand says, hello, we are excited to introduce you to our brand new Vanish, Vanish, Vanish liquid foundation. This foundation gives you instant full coverage, unlike other full coverage foundations, which can require building. I agree on that. That is true. Um, it feels absolutely weightless and works on all skin types. Works on all skin types. First claim, people, it works on all skin types. Primer is not needed. Say what, sis? She said primer is not needed. Okay. Primer is not needed. All you need is... To all you need to do is hydrate your skin. It's available in 32 shades and it launches January 25th. So pretty much it launched last week. Got the PR package late. That's okay. Um, but yeah, they sent three shades over. Um, and I and those are two of them are pretty much my shade when like you know I'm like this and I'm not tanned. So supposedly we don't have to um you know, primer or anything. Supposedly, this foundation works for all skin types. Um, like I was telling you guys, the Vanish Stick, I feel like it's very, is a very oily consistency, so I don't think it works for oily skin at all. Um, I feel like it would crack and melt everywhere. So, I don't know that is good for all skin types, so we shall see, and we shall put it to the test. I'm not very oily at all, but, um, I don't know. It says it's good for all skin types. 
Let's see how the formula compares and if it's different, if it's better. Either way, let's just move on to the, you know, foundation application. All right, so for moisturizer, I'm taking my Smashbox Photo for photo for photo finish primerizer um and this is what i normally use to to like hydrate my skin it's very very nice i love this especially like in this time of the year that it's very cold we have moisturized we have not primed um and pretty much that's all we're gonna do right, so right. this is what the original foundation sticks look like this is the packaging this is pretty much what they are they're pretty much just a stick and boom they pop up when you twist them so the shades that i have here are beige and also sand um i think i'm gonna go in with the shade beige because sand is a little bit too light for me right now and this foundation is kind of like very yellow undertone so I kind of want something a little bit, I don't know. They kind of look very similar. The shades look very similar, but one it's a little bit darker than the other. So yeah, so I'm going to go in with the shade um, beige. Actually, I'm going to go in with the shade sand. I think sand is a little bit darker. Because I've been using beige. I used beige the other day, and it was a little bit too light for me. So I'm actually going to do this side with the stick foundation, and then this side I will be doing the new Hourglass Vanish liquid formula so we're gonna start off with this one and like i said i like to blend this one out with um with my um with my beauty blender and then this one um we're gonna do with the brush so i love how easy this foundation is to apply to be completely honest with you that's what i love the most about it like you just swipe it and it's ready to go oh my god this is harder than i thought Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take the shade beige, which is the matching, like, you know, shade for this, for this side. So we're going to go in with this one, and we're going to use the brush. So let me just take the brush out. This is what the brush looks like. I'm just going to go easy on this because I heard that it's so full coverage. Like, all you need is, like, one to two pumps for your entire face. So I might have overdone it because I did two pumps and we're only doing half of the face. So I'm just going to take that and blend that in pretty much. Oh, wow. Wow. This is a very full coverage. But I already like the finish more than this side. The shade is exact. If I'm being completely honest, it's the same exact shade. And I kind of really like this formula 10 times better. Oh, my God. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but it's just doing things for me. Like, it's blending seamlessly. Like, what? This foundation is so nice. All right, so it's blending really nicely, very seamless. I'm just going to grab some and put some on my nose. Getting here is that it is expensive, but you will get your money's worth because of the fact that you don't have to use a lot. When they did say that you don't have to build this up to get full coverage, and it is full coverage already, they were not lying because look at that coverage, honey. Like, compared to this side, I honestly really like how this side looks so much better. Like, even my pores don't emphasize as much as, like, this side and my texture and stuff like that, which I do have, and those are my problem areas. Um, You guys really like that I gave you a close-up on the Fenty concealers when I did my review, which didn't go that well. Um, So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to give you a close-up before I finish off the rest of my makeup of the two foundations pretty much side by side. So I'm going to get close right here is pretty much this foundation the stick and we blended it out with a beauty blender this is what it looks like and as you guys can see it's kind of emphasizing my pores right here a lot and then this side right here is the new vanish foundation well i mean the new packaging um this is this side 
I don't know. I feel like, can you guys tell that it just looks like way more like luminous? It kind of gives you kind of like a luminosity to your skin without wearing any like highlight or any product at all. And it really like makes my skin look smoother opposed to kind of like this side. It's still nice, but it, this kind of looks like it's my skin. I don't know how to explain it. Like the formula just looks so much better when it comes to like the liquid formula opposed to this one and I really do like this foundation don't get me wrong I wear it a lot of times but the main thing and the main problem that I was having was that it was really creasing up on me and obviously accentuating my texture and I feel like this one is like the same formula but better and the liquid formula it just looks really really good like it literally looks like my skin um but without any like imperfections and stuff like that so I'm actually really enjoying it at the moment so they do have a tacky feeling and they do transfer so um but this one definitely more than the other let me just do that one more time twice so i i'm gonna just show you guys like hopefully you can see and this focuses i don't know if you can even see that but there's definitely more transfer on the stick side than there is on pretty much this side which is the liquid formula and i did the same exact thing Alright guys, so I pretty much did the rest of my makeup off camera. Um, this is what it turned out to be, something really simple. I just kind of added like a pop of green to match with my shirt and stuff like that. Um, yeah, something really simple. This is what the foundation looks like. This is the side, wow this highlight is way too intense. This is the side with the liquid foundation and then this is the side with the... Um, you know regular vanish stick foundation both sides product applied really nicely like they normally do because honestly i've used this foundation before and i've never had a problem with products applying on top of it or anything like that i do feel like this side looks so much better and like prettier for some reason i don't know i feel like this side looks so much better than the other side um i don't know i kind of feel like i like this side better and I feel like it's a mixture of this one, but better. I feel like this one looks better on my skin. Maybe it's because of the formula that it's like a liquid instead of a um, cream. Um, sometimes liquids tend to work best for me than creams. Um, I always tell you guys, try things out for yourself before you, um, you know, disregard it or actually go ahead and buy it um if you can get a sample they are at sephora get a sample of your shade if you are similar to my skin tone then you will either be sand or beige get a sample of the foundation and try it out before you go ahead and purchase the actual size i know it is a very expensive foundation so that's the reason why i'm telling you guys to do that you can take advantage in sephora get samples of how many foundations you want and see if it works for you try it out for like three days and you know, if it doesn't, then that sucks. If it did, then great. Um, but I really do like the foundation. I like the formula, the new formula. I like it so much better than the stick foundation and, like, you know, the creamy type of formula. I do feel like the cream formula never really sets fully. As opposed to, like, this one, it definitely does. Like, there's no transfer whatsoever. And I absolutely love that. My skin feels like skin. It looks like skin. And on top of that, I don't feel like I have a ton amount of makeup on my skin right now when i set it with the powder it looked even more flawless i normally use the huda beauty easy bake powders in the shade pound cake and banana bread just in case you guys are wondering or for reference if you're new here on my channel and you don't know that um but yeah i really do like this foundation i do give it a thumbs up and a approval a stamp of approval i think you should definitely try it out like i said Get yourself a tap at Sephora. It's totally free. Um, and try this foundation out for at least three days and see if you like it for yourself. As always, what works for me may not work for you. And what works for you may not work for me. Like I always say in every single review that I do. Yeah, we're all different. Like I always say in every single review, we're all different. We all have different skin types, different skin tones different skin problems so you know what i mean um that's the reason why i always say that in my videos because we're all different so 
We're bound to like different things. We're bound to hate different things. Who knows? That's the tea of the packaging. I think the packaging is like my favorite part of the foundation. It looks really, really nice and elegant and sleek. Um, it definitely sums up to what you're paying for. Like it's a nice, like steady, like glass, and it has kind of like that matte finish. And then it has a pump, of course. Thank God, because imagine a foundation that's like I don't even know how much this foundation retails for, but I think it's like fifty something dollars with no pump like that would be insane the beauty world will crash like literally <laughs> that will actually happen if this foundation would have came without a pump anyways um i do like the shade range as well do i feel like they can have more a 100 percent any brand should always have more like i said we're not all the same skin tones not all the sa same skin types so i feel like brands should um cater to everyone either skin type or skin tone um they shouldn't always only have for um you know hydrating foundations or just a foundations for oily skin you know what i mean i feel like every brand should cater to everyone just so that way everyone can get a chance to try their products out and fall in love with the brand some people can't use certain brands because of the fact that there's not either there's either not a shade for them or a you know foundation that goes with their skin type and that's just like annoying including myself so um yeah I don't know how much this stands for pretty much saying that it's for all skin types um my friend Chantel has oily skin and she's gonna actually buy the foundation when I tell her that I loved it um then i'll let you guys know really hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed this review i hope i was you know helpful enough i hope i gave you guys enough background on the foundation i hope i gave you guys you know enough of everything where it made up your like where you can make up your mind to either buy this foundation or not buy it or whatever the case may be i like this foundation i think it looks beautiful i think it makes my skin look beautiful and initially applying it it gave my skin a really nice glow even when i mattified it down with the powder it still had a nice glow into it so i do appreciate that if you're oily i'm not sure how you will feel about that but yet again try it out like i said um because you never know it might surprise you just like it surprised me i definitely love this formula way more than i love this one um I just feel like it makes my skin look more flawless opposed to like this side. It's kind of looking a little like textury and you can see my pores and stuff like that. It's the same foundation just in a liquid formula not in a stick form. So definitely different different formulas. These two are the same but different if you know what I mean. But either way that's it for this video you guys. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in my next review or in my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did like it and don't forget to turn your bell notifications on so you're notified each time that I upload and also don't forget to comment down below what you think about this foundation, which was your favorite side, are you going to be purchasing it? Why? Or if you're not, why not? Um, Yeah, just let me know in the comments down below. Talk to me. Let me know. You know what I mean? Let's chat because I be bored at home sometimes. Like, most of the times I be bored at home. Like, I'm not even going to front. So, if you guys talk to me in the comments, I would truly appreciate that. Also, I want to say thank you to those who um, left really nice messages on my last video. Um, giving you guys the life update. Um... Thank you so much and I really appreciate it and yeah if you guys want to watch that video then I'll just leave it right here on the side so you guys can go ahead and watch it and also while you're at it just subscribe right up here okay I'm done.